welcome to my channel, Miss Monica Conway's Makerspace, where applied design, skills, and technology projects are taught to you from my Makerspace to yours. Makerspace projects are brought to you by Peace River North, School District 60. Today's Makerspace project is partnered with Fort St. John Public Library. Here is a list of tools and materials needed for today's project. You can also find the list of materials and tools needed in the description below. Before starting a project, make sure to review. Be safe in your Makerspace document and when in doubt, ask for help. Using your sandpaper, sand down sides and edges of your wooden block until surfaces are smooth. Mark one inch from the bottom of the wooden block. Clamp your wooden block into a vise, making sure your pencil mark is exposed. You're going to need your safety glasses for this part. Using your hand drill and a 1 8 drill bit, drill a hole at your 1 inch mark all the way through to the opposite side. Starting at the pointed end of the wooden skewers, mark 5 inches with your pencil. Using the needle nose pliers, trim the two wooden skewers where marked. Take your 6 inch piece of 18 gauge wire and push it through your wooden block drill hole until there is 2 inches of wire on the other side. After 2 inches of the wire is through the other side of the wooden block, bend the wire down from the base of the drill hole. Using your pencil as a guide, wrap the wire around the pencil and bend the wire up. Take one of your foam squares and push the wire through the center of the foam square. Using your pencil as a guide, bend the wire around the pencil and then in the down direction. On the opposite side of the wooden block, bend the wire up from the base of the drill hole. Again, using your pencil as a guide, wrap the wire around the pencil and bend the wire down. Take the other foam square and push the wire through the center of the foam square. Once the foam square is on, use your pencil as a guide, bend the wire around part of the pencil, pointing the wire out to the side. Trim your wire if necessary using your needle nose pliers. Dismantle your binder clip into three pieces, one clamp and two arms. Today we'll be just using the two arms. Glue the two binder clip arms to the top of your wooden block using hot glue. Use the popsicle stick to push the binder clips down into the glue. Once the hot glue has hardened, take one of the wooden skewers, pointed end first, and feed it through one of the binder clip arms at the top of the wooden block. And then stab the foam square with your wooden skewer.
Repeat these steps with the other wooden skewer on the opposite side of your wooden block. Take your wooden or cardboard base and hot glue your wooden block to the center of your base. Now it's time to decorate. Today's theme is Canada. When decorating, I like to hot glue fake moss to hide the binder clip arms. This also sets the stage for the other decorations I'll be using. Hot glue your decorations onto your wooden block and wooden skewers. You can even decorate the base of your cranky contraption. Turn over your cranky contraption showing the back. Hot glue the clothespin with the opening to the top of the wooden block. The clothespin is used to change out your cranky contraption scenery with photos, postcards or drawings. And there you have it, your very own cranky contraption.